Hi Capricorn, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of July 11 to the 17th, 2022? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Capricorn, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's see, spirit angels and guys, show me the energy of Capricorn in regards to love for this week. All right, let's see what do we have. We have Nine of Cups in reverse, the Tower card, Five of Swords in reverse, the Two of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we have King of Pentacles. That's your energy, Capricorn, showing up with the Three of Swords and the Six of Wands in reverse. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Page of Cups in reverse. I'm getting a feeling of disappointment in your energy, Capricorn. It's like you feel disappointed. We also have the Temperance cards he here. So some of you feel like you've been waiting a long time for something. Or some of you feel like nothing has changed in your life for a long time. You're looking for, for something new. You're looking for something um, that breaks the, ru the routine of your life. You feel like you're in, in the same situation as, as always. You're indecisive here with the Two of Pentacles, whether you want to return back to a certain relationship or not. <clears throat> I have to be honest, I feel like some of you feel like there's nothing else, like you, just, you don't have any other options. Some of you feel like it's either this person from your past or it's no one. You feel like you're limited in your options. Yeah, two of cups in reverse, seven of cups, ace of swords, ace of pentacles, page of swords. Uh, don't settle for less, Capricorn. Less than, than what you deserve, less than what you know will make you happy. Don't go back to something or to someone just because that's, that's the only option you have. That's all there is right now available in your life. You know, don't, don't, do, don't do things for that reason. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles spirit. Four of Swords in reverse and the Lovers. Capricorn, I feel like you're just lonely, you know? I feel like there's an energy of loneliness. It doesn't necessarily mean that you want to get back together with someone from your past. Um, 
I think you're thinking about someone from your past, but not necessarily because you want to get back together with them, just but more so because you're lonely. And you're missing that that connection that you used to have with someone. But it doesn't have to be this person. It could be somebody else, you know? Again, I just get the feeling like you're you're thinking about someone because that's that's what was most recent, you know? That was the relationship that was most recent for you. And you had, you know, some sort of connection with this person, but I don't know if you I don't know if that connection is still alive or the same. I don't feel like it is. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Six of Cups in reverse and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So again, I get the, I get a feeling Capricorn like you're too you're too focused on something from your past, on someone from your past, but I feel again, I I keep wanting to say I feel like it's just because you're lonely. I don't particularly feel like this person is the right person for you. I feel like you have something new on the horizon with the Ace of Pentacles. But some of you are kind of feeling a little bit impatient with the Temperance card. So yeah, I would definitely um, like caution you um, to not let your feelings of loneliness lead you towards something, lead you to something from the past that didn't work out before and, you know, has, it has no reason to work out now because nothing has changed, you know. It's still the same relationship, it's still the same is issues. I feel like you're waiting for something new here with the Ace of Pentacles. I think you're just a little bit, you know, you're a little bit impatient. You're wanting something new right now. And it's not quite happening. But I feel like everything happens um, in divine timing. Okay. Okay, hopefully that made sense. Let's move on to your person. See what their energy is for the week. All right, spirit angels and guides, show me the energy of the person Capricorn is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you so much, spirit. Let's see what we have. Ace of Cups in reverse could be a water sign for some of you. Wheel of Fortune and Judgment in reverse could be an Aquarius. And we have the Star upright. Ju um, not Judgment. Ten of Cups. The Moon in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we have Nine of Wands. With the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. There's someone who's fantasizing about having a second chance with you, Capricorn, here. They're fantasizing about it. They're not really taking action with the Nine of Wands. They're holding back. 
they're scared, they feel insecure. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm a little bit sick. Sorry for the coughing. Six of Cups in Reverse, Page of Pentacles, and the Hangman. Okay, so this person's waiting for you. I feel like you're waiting for this person, and this person is waiting for you. They're waiting for some kind of sign from you. They're waiting for some kind of message. Yeah. Let me clarify here. What's the Nine of Wands doing here, Spirit? Ace of Wands and the Tower. <coughs> Sorry, let me take some water, guys. Okay, Ace of Wands in reverse and the Tower. Something dramatic happened here or something intense happened that caused a separation between you two. This person doesn't know if if there if there's still potential to rebuild this relationship. They are fearful of your rejection. Tell me about the star spirit. They want a new beginning with you, but with the four of pentacles, it's like They don't know what to expect if they were to have a new beginning with you or a second chance. They don't know what to expect. It's There's a lot of uncertainty and it makes them feel uncomfortable. The level of uncertainty that there is. Tell me about judgment. Six of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Um, they're having a little bit of a power not power struggle, like a mind over heart struggle, internal struggle. Their mind tells them one thing, but their heart tells them another. Their heart wants to be with you. They want to happily ever after with you. <coughs> Sorry. But their mind is kind of pushing you away, pushing the idea of, of you away. They can't stop thinking about you and they hate that. I feel like they don't want to think about you. They just can't help it. They feel like this is a missed opportunity. <coughs> How does this person see Capricorn? They feel like you've moved on already. They feel like you have other options with the Seven of Cups. Yeah, they feel like um they feel like you're not really thinking about them or worried about them or missing them. They feel like you've moved on. They feel like you they feel like you found something better than them. They think that you probably found something much someone much better than them by now. They don't think that you have any feelings for them anymore. They're hoping that you do though with the star card, but they feel like it's unlikely. All right, I'm going to continue in the extended Capricorn. I'm going to take a deeper look at what are this person's real feelings for you? What are their real intentions and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.